Yo, what's going on everybody? It is straight out of Boston here, aka the King of Boston. Today we're back for a bit of a different video today. Uh, so someone in a recent live stream requested that I make a video sort of showing off to you guys a bunch of the settings that I customize in my OOTP saves because uh, obviously a lot of people who watch my OOTP series end up buying the game and uh, you know it's a game with a lot of different screens and a lot of different settings and a lot of customization and uh, people are always asking me, you know, what, how do I set it up so that this works like it does in your series and stuff like that. So I figured this would be a good idea. Um, and uh, yeah, if you guys want to basically play your games exactly the way I play mine, then uh, you can just follow these step by step. If not, then you can at least, uh, you know, look at these and see if maybe this might uh, help out your own save. So anyway, um, we'll start out in manager settings. So a lot of people always ask me how I get it set so that... Uh, my like minor league coaches or my assistant GM or whatever uh, set my minor league promotions and emotions among other things um, and so you got to go to manager settings and then control and autoplay settings and then all the way at the bottom team control settings and as you can see I've got setting budgets uh, I give that to my assistant GM John Mazeliak uh, signing and firing minor league personnel I also let my assistant GM deal with that minor league for agent signings and releases Minor league managers, I let deal with that. Uh, promotions and emotions, John Mazzelia take care of, takes care of that. And then minor league lineups and depth charts and pitching staffs and stuff, uh, I leave with the minor league managers. And then um, also on this screen in exit autoplay, I turn off when uh, when you receive a trade proposal. So if I'm just uh, you know I can skip ahead a bunch of days here unless I wanted to simulate to Tuesday, November twelfth. And then uh, I would get interrupted for a bunch of various things and my simulation would stop, but uh, I always make sure that it does not stop for trade proposals because that's really one downside in this game is the trade proposals you get, more often than not, are absolute garbage, not even worth looking at, so I usually turn those things off. But uh, that's pretty much all I deal with in manager settings. I leave the rest on, uh, on default. Um, yeah, the stuff I just leave on as the uh, default stuff or whatever. So uh, we can skip over to league settings now. Uh, this is where you'll see a couple different things. Um, so we can start out in global settings. Now, uh, as many of you know, I use the 20 to 80 scale for player ratings because um, that is the scouting scale that uh, is used. You know, if you look up like a MLB.com top prospects, you'll probably see uh, like, you know, 80. Or it'll, it'll say like a Kyle Schwab has like a 70 hit tool uh, or something like that. So uh, I like to use the 20 to 80 scale so you can find that under player rating skills and you can switch all this stuff. Um, other than that, I don't believe I change any of this, uh, any of these things. Oh, one thing I do change is I change it to my uh, report settings. I changed my top prospect list to dynamic, and uh, yeah, can keep recent predictions on automatic. But yeah, this way the top prospect uh, list gets updated throughout the year. Whereas if you just do it annually, it will just get updated at opening day each year. So I like to keep that dynamic. Um, I imagine that maybe slows the game down just a tad bit, but I really haven't noticed anything. So, uh, yeah, other than that, I keep all the rest of this stuff on the default. Um, yeah, just making sure. I could probably disable owner goals if I wanted to. Those are pretty useless in this game. But, um, yeah, all right. So, uh, as for players' invasion, I don't believe I touch any of this stuff. Uh, AI settings, I don't really touch any of this stuff. But you can, uh, you know, I mean, there's a lot of cool things to mess with in this game. Like uh, lineup selection, you can make it so that, uh, you know, other teams will have a very sabermetric sort of... Uh, you know, philosophy when it comes to creating different lineups and stuff and, you know, using a lot of right and lefty matchups, stuff like that. So, uh, you know, there's definitely things you can play around with. I've never really tried playing around with them. Um, one thing I do do in players in Faced actually is I disable uh, baseball cards here. So if you guys remember, um, oh, like very early on when I was recording this series, I would often have to cut out right before they announced the all-star teams because it would take like five minutes to load up the next day or whatever. And uh, that's because if you have this uh, enabled, which is it is on the default settings, then every time someone's an all-star, it creates baseball cards for them, and it takes like five minutes just to skip that one day, and it's a big hassle. And really, the baseball cards are just, um, you know, something you can go back and look at, like, their stats or something for the... I mean, it, it literally just looks like a real baseball card, and I mean, I don't know, I'm 19 years old now, and I don't collect baseball cards anymore, and I don't really have any use for uh, looking at baseball cards in a video game, so I usually uh, disable baseball cards, and I would suggest that you guys do the same. Um, and then, also, you can mess with this stuff, too. Uh, so, like, enable suspensions and uh, I injury frequency. In my opinion, injuries and suspensions happen a little too often in this game. Now, uh, it actually says that if you put it on high, it would be more realistic for the injury frequency. I think it's probably, uh, you know, probably should be somewhere between low and normal. And then suspensions definitely need to be lower, uh, I think, to really, if you wanted to make it realistic. So, 
Um, you know, you can switch that around if you want, but uh, for now, I just leave it on normal. Maybe I'll, you know, the next uh, thing I'll say. But I don't, I don't, I don't like. I don't know. Something about me, like I'm kind of a purist. I don't really like changing stuff in the middle of a save like this. I would rather just uh, let it kind of play out the way it is, and then maybe next time around do it differently. But uh, you can also mess with the trade difficulty. Um, you know, if you're really good at the game and you're really pulling off trades and stuff, like uh, any move you want, then uh, you know maybe you can bump it the hard or very hard. Trade preference. Uh, I don't really don't really even know what this does. Maybe it's for the trade op trade offers that you get. But uh, anyway, and then uh, yeah, we got that lineup selection. But uh, as we go over towards here, um, there's really nothing much else except till we get to uh, league settings. And um, actually, this is not what I was looking for. Wait a moment. Oh, actually, yeah, we got to go to options. All right, so. Uh, here I like to uh, take the award names and I actually just recently did this uh, I switched like the platinum stick to silver slugger the great glove to gold glove and you can even make a custom award um, I don't know how you would set like a How you would set or like who wins the award or whatever, but uh, I don't know apparently you can do that so um, And then here if you really want to like you can disable uh, expansion or you can uh, or so I should probably explain this a little bit further dynamically evolving league means that uh Rule changes can happen in your league as you simulate forward. Now, uh, if you just want to use the current MLB rules, nothing ever changes, then uh, you can disable all this stuff. But if you keep it enabled, then uh, sometimes expansion will happen, teams can relocate, uh, sometimes rule changes will happen so that like the active roster size can be bumped to like 26. I've seen that happen. I've seen 40-man rosters become 42-man rosters. I've seen uh, the 15-day DL go down to the 7-day DL. Um, even sometimes they will like uh, lower the mound and you know there will be uh, more offense or they can raise the mound and there will be more pitching. So you know there's a bunch of stuff like that can happen and then you know you can mess with like uh, you know Hall of Fame stuff. But uh, I usually just keep this as it is because that is the uh, real life settings or whatever. And then uh, as for the rest of this, um, you know, there's not really much else I like to mess with. Financials, uh, I can screw around with this if I wanted to but... I don't know, no points uh, in my book at least, but yeah, and then here you can mess around with uh, different rules and stuff. Uh, you know, if you wanted the DH to be in the NL, you could do Sub League 2, designated hitter. Um, spring training rosters, if you wanted those to be bigger, you know, I don't know. You can really mess with it. If you wanted to turn off roster expansion, you could probably just make this like a, I don't know, December 31st or whatever. But uh, yeah, so anyway, that is pretty much. Uh, that's pretty much that. I mean, there aren't really, uh, you know, a lot of these rules are just, uh, I mean, you, you can really mess around with stuff in this if you wanted to, but for the most part, uh, you know, I really just leave it, leave most of the settings as they are. Um, I mean, look at this, you could, you know, disable the rule five draft, you could disable the 2012 CBA changes. Um, you could screw around with the amateur draft. I mean, there's so many things that you could do to, uh, really, you can even make a feeder league. Um, in which case like, uh, players from these leagues would, go into your uh, inter or not your international draft pool your uh, amateur draft pool so yeah there's a lot of things you could do <laughs> to mess around with this stuff a lot of draft pick trading that'd be cool actually uh, a lot of trading of, oh i should allow this actually allow trading of recently drafted players because they did just uh, change this rule this year so uh yeah there's another rule that so under rules league settings and rules allow trading of recently drafted players there you go so uh all right, that is, uh, yeah, I mean, that is pretty much that. Uh, those are all the settings that I mess with. Uh, like I said, I don't mess with too many of them, but, uh, you know, hopefully this video actually also helps you, you know, figure out some other settings that maybe you guys want to mess with on yourself. But uh, as for team settings, um, you know, I don't really think I ever mess with much of this stuff. I mean, this is just pretty much the lineups and the pitching and stuff, uh, those screens. Strategy, I really have never messed with player strategy or any of this stuff. Uh, maybe should, but... Oh, well, you know, it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't really seem to matter. We won 103 games with the simulation this year, so, uh, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, we got owner goals and the stuff. Yeah, I never really touch any of this stuff, so. All right, cool, cool. So that is pretty much that. I just wanted to show you guys the basic settings that I uh, use and sort of give you guys a little bit more of an in-depth look at uh, OOTP. So, all right, that's going to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Nose them out. Peace.